Alright, making a video. I've been awfully tired. Just letting you know, I've been awfully tired. Uh, anyway, for some reason. Um, awful day. Ooh. To kill or not kill cats. Um, so yeah, the, you know, important subjects. The glib just couldn't care less. And uh, it's really horrible and tragic. And if they can't get these little things right, you know, taken care of business that's right in front of our faces, so to speak, um, then yes, the future and this thing that's a lot less tangible is uh, certainly going to get neglected. And uh, that's the problem with people, or most people. Um, they just can't do this focus on the bigger picture thing of their existence, and it's just, what's in it for me, glib asshole all the way down and how to shock them with a piece of reality that would you know make a difference somehow where they just can't walk through it anymore any of us who can't walk through it anymore that's somewhere that had to happen where you had this moment <laughs> where you just said no this isn't acceptable these people just haven't gotten there yet. Okay. To kill or not to kill cats? That is the question to... It's laughing. Like it's... <clears throat> like the cats aren't going to die. Like their welfare isn't what we're talking about. Like their best interest isn't what we're talking about. Yes, that's what we're talking about. And there's a decided difference in how you can die. You might know that. I don't know. <laughs> this is a guy who tried to kill himself and failed. And yet he laughs at the subject. <laughs> what a shrangler there. Yeah. Proper English. Well, I might not express an actual opinion here. Super. Uh, all I'll say is, in the UK... There's lots of fat, stupid people. Yes, I've noticed that. Anyway, we're going to speed this up a little bit. <clears throat> we used to have fox hunting. And recently the Conservatives proposed that they would have a vote again. A free vote. Such that perhaps fox hunting could be brought back. I thought they already did that, so... Bravo on the ones who didn't allow that to happen. I would vote against fox hunting. The reason why I'm a bit delicate to express my own opinions is because I don't think I have... Um, right, you don't think you have the gray matter to figure out that other feeling things feel like you feel and that their feelings are just as important as your feelings. That all, that logic just completely escapes you. and There's just, you feel no obligation to even consider the welfare of other things unless somebody throws it right on your little dinner plate. Rational opinion on, on these things because I, I'm kind of mixed up in my own emotional baggage. Yes, well, I, I don't just really you can get right past the emotional baggage but just, you just lift your head up a little tiny bit and you can see perfectly clearly. Emotions don't have anything to do with it. It's just kind of an obvious logical question. You have feelings, you know my your feelings are important. How you die is important to you. You don't think it's irrelevant or silly subject. It's kind of an important subject. You die better than worse. And uh, likewise it goes for all the other little feeling things on earth and some of them are a byproduct of our actions and those especially we should get to first like the byproduct of you being a pet owner is that a bunch of pets get left on the street and they're not equipped to live on the street and they're going to die badly and it's going to be your fucking fault and so maybe you ought to clean that mess up fuckhead because I can't really rationalize why I'm like I, I'm okay with people hunting hunting I would be okay with people hunting vermin but Right, so it's okay to hunt dirty animals or ugly animals but it's not okay to hunt pretty animals is that all you've got? Um, and, and you can't see past that emotional baggage? 
you, you have some thing where you're deciding the fate of human beings and you're, you know, you just happen to fall into the job of being the guy who decides who goes to the concentration camps or something and you, you're sitting there saying, well, that one's cute, we'll save that. And you're seeing, you're watching yourself do that and you can't say, ooh, I'm a fucking idiot. Um, yes, yeah, rats, perfectly sentient organisms. If you sit there and had any relationship with one, even for a tiny bit of time, watch one on a nature show or something. Highly intelligent, uh, very involved in their uh, living experience kind of an organism. Not a piece of shit. They're not like a cheap uh, Japanese watch or something. No, 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 no. Fully sentient organism. Worthy of consideration, not just stepping on a whacking. All the pests are pigeons, pigeons are rats. <clears throat> so, so the definition is if it annoys me somehow, if it interferes with my personal fun, fun, then it's worthy of getting just whacked in any old way possible. Kill it, poison it, tor torture it, I don't care. I don't have to worry about it. It's not my fault. Sure it is. It's exactly your fault. Um, and and there's, it's, it's an emotional line. No, 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 no. It's a rational line. I mean, it's a rational subject. Your welfare to you is not an emotional line. It's a, you, you have perfectly rational distinctions between things. Burning in a fire or getting drowned. You've understood what all these things might be like. And that you certainly have ones that are on your preference or not preference list. Many cancers would not be the way you'd want to go, I don't think. Fuckhead. No. Um, of which there's, there's not much reason attached to it. So, um, so uh, I'm making a video about uh, 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 my emotions. Well, then shut up. I mean, really, if that's all you've got, if you really can't do any better, then I have a whimsical notion in my head and I'm going to express it on the Internet. Well, that's fail, asshole. And I'm not even sure I'm rationally correct about the, the hunting... Uh, Boxes. Yes, because there might be some rational reason to just torment an animal for human entertainment. That might be somewhere, somewhere that might be reasonable. Torture for entertainment. Yeah, I don't think that could be made rational anywhere. Come on, go ahead and try. Because, like I say, if I can't rationally extend it and become vegetarian and all other kinds of killing. If I can't, well, it's not really about what you can or can't do, right? Just because you can't become a vegetarian doesn't mean that being a vegetarian isn't the right thing to be. And the very way you just phrased it kind of indicates that, yes, the only thing that's stopping me from being a vegetarian is it's inconvenient. So it's an inconvenient truth that I just can't live up to. But yes, I can see that if all things were equal and it cost me no unpleasantness to switch, Yes, the obvious answer is don't be one of those. Just the same reason why you don't go fox hunting is because nothing inspires you to go torment a little fox for your entertainment. Fuck. I don't believe in the inhumane killing of animals and the suffering and such. I don't believe in it, but I'll endorse it and laugh at it as a subject and trivialize it wherever possible. Because, you know, that's my job, is to say one thing and do the other. I mean, can't you see me talking out of my ass? Doesn't that prove, you know, that I'm a contrarian? I'm talking out of my ass, aren't I? Fuckhead. To kill or not to kill cats. Um, to throw a penny into the arguments that even end them. I've raised this issue several times. Uh, yes, you've raised irrelevant points that have nothing to do with the subject, yes. Uh, and I, I had hoped that somebody would latch onto it because I've raised it. Uh, yes, I would hope that somebody else would badger him about this non-real subject, this point, irrelevant, nonsensical point I raise. <laughs> yeah, well, you can keep hoping, shithead. There's plenty of trolls out there, but yeah, you're an idiot and an asshole. And a douchebag. It's because I just see a, a humongous hypocrisy. That's my word, actually. In, 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 yeah. 
he must be sat on at least ten thousand pounds of. Um, so he keeps saying I'm sitting on ten thousand pounds. Well, it's ten thousand dollars that I offered to have an interview with one of the really important talking heads, the Neil deGrasse Tyson types. Okay. So I have offered ten thousand dollars because I can get ten thousand dollars. I can, I can, I have a credit rating. I can borrow it, and I can borrow it from people. So that's money I know I can get. Okay, if I have to get it, I can get it. And um, my point is, is that it's money well spent because I'll get the money back because that interview will be worth something. All right, it'll be worth something not only to the advancement of my. Uh, uh, theory um, and the interest will be generated and all of that stuff and even if I couldn't get money back from it I could get value back from it in a very I think in, a, in an important way so I'm confident uh, that I'm not going to be left um, welching on, on obligations <clears throat> so that's the point obviously I buy ten dollar cameras I buy I, my computer I don't spend more than a hundred dollars I just buy junk look look at it look at it for fuck's sake that's my computer I don't have money just I don't have I'm not a millionaire with tons of money and this idiot keeps wanting to make some point that I'm some rich guy who isn't spending enough money on cats when I have to pay for their food and I've had to pay to have them euthanized and I don't have the money and this asshole's fucking ragging about this bullshit. Like there's some evidence I'm a rich man who just doesn't want to spend the money. Fuck this cunt. <laughs> what, who hasn't worked in three fucking years at least. And he's sitting there pointing fingers. Glass house, fatty. Cash. Because he offered at one point to, to pay a top, top, top notch physicist. Um, $10,000 of cash just for a conversation. $10,000, again, dollars. And yet, he will not pay for um, the castration, the sterilization, uh, the um, prevention of reproduction of, of his, stray, his personal stray cat pocket. Okay, so it's just a gross lie. There's never been a female, uh, 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 a fertile female anywhere near this house. All right? Uh, ever. So, where's where's your argument that I didn't pay to get a female fixed? Where, where's your argument? Now, male cats are a little different, okay? I mean, frankly. The fact is, is that it's, it's just like here they shoot male deer. It's a waste of bullets. Because that's not how the, the game works. The females give off scent. And males show up. That's how the reproduction thing works here and it works that way with cats and so <laughs> yeah you can get a male fixed and he won't show up but the other unfixed males will show up so the game really isn't about fixing males the game is about fixing females and if you don't fix the females or you don't reduce their number you lose the game if you waste bullets on the male deer you lose the game. But you're too stupid to understand that kind of simple stuff. And But but the point is, is, I've had cats fixed and I've had cats euthanized. So it's just a fucking overt lie. There's no fertile females anywhere near this house. I don't feed any fertile females, idiot. We're talking about other people's cats that show up somewhere. Now the cats I had recently had to deal with aren't cats in my yard, they're in somebody else's yard. And I tried to get them adopted, and I found out how stupid the system is, and how it doesn't fucking work. And that they offer no alternative for these animals. Relation, um, or you will not pay for them to be ethnically euthanized. <laughs> ethnically euthanized? Yeah, I won't pay for that for sure. Uh, but I'm not going to have them, I, I will, I have paid for them to be uh, uh, ethically uh, euthanized, shithead. Over and over, <clears throat> there's over 40 cats buried in my backyard. None of them were my cat. Do you understand this? Not one of them was my fucking cat. You cunt. They were the leftovers of irresponsible cunts like you. Pet owners. Citing 
that, you know, even, even to capture one of them, is this such a traumatic experience for him? Have you done it? Have you seen a feral cat in a cage? Have you seen it? No. Oh, yet you're all pine. How it's a nothing event. This isn't a non-trauma. This is, we, we won't count this as being any kind of suffering for the animal. The torment of being thrown in cages and molested and grabbed and having no, having nothing to understand anything that's happening to them. I mean, I can only say, I wish it on you. I hope the aliens would show up and I hope you get abused thoroughly, fuckhead. But he's made videos where he's, to, he's, he's described he's up to these kind of things because he has put animals out. If I was up to it and I thought it was all super and fun, I wouldn't be making complaints. I'm saying it's killing me. Just the thought of it is killing me. It is fucking killing me. So how am I up to it? I can't stand it. It's so fucking revolting. I can't, the, the fucking feral cats out here are deaf and blind. Yeah, I have to take, I have to go kill them. Right, I have to have them killed. Why? They're not my animals. They're yours, asshole. Why don't you clean it up, fuckhead? Pet owner. So, for me, he fails to um, demonstrate how he separates his personal vested interest. My personal vested interest in what? In, in, in watching you torture things. Well, I don't have a vested interest in that. That's why I'm complaining about it. This is disgusting, you scumbags. And for you to sit there and, and critique me, who's taken nothing and has only sacrificed my own welfare to clean up the mess you fuckers made. You're obnoxiously grotesque. Fucking pig. Uh, of his personal conniving cash, simplistic hoarding, yeah. Which, which was <clears throat> so again, another. you have no evidence to back that up with, you pedophile. Not a single piece, a shred of fucking evidence to make these accusations. You disgusting, lying sack of shit. It's, it's probably only kept because that's his cancer treatment. Yeah. <laughs> because he, he <clears throat> right. I had a stroke ten years ago. I have, and I had no treatment. But I'm saving money for cancer treatment. Is that your theory? I had a stroke. I paid $400 to have a doctor show up just to make sure I wasn't going to have another one. Took blood and tested my blood pressure and said, eh, well, you could die, but you're not going to, maybe. So that's, that's it. And that makes me a millionaire. And, and the strange thing is, is his, his followers and, and fans send him cigarettes to help him get cancer. The thing he breaks. <clears throat> well, anyway, uh, you don't get cancer from the last cigarette you smoke. You get cancer from the first cigarette you smoke. So you don't understand any of the facts of anything on this planet, do you? Oh, that's right. You don't. You're a really a dumb fuck. Cancer is really caused by radiation. It's a slow death. Posting on the world, which is why and his, he, he's prioritizing his suffering above the cat's suffering. Yeah? So, so a whole theory based on a lie. So, I mean, you're disgusting. You're just such a lying fucking sack of shit. A disgraceful, disgusting liar. And this is coming from a guy, like I said, so he's talking about a euthanasia issue with this insensitivity. And this was the whining cunt. Who, who was complaining after his suicide attempt failed, because he was a stupid cunt, um, that the medical system didn't take proper care of him. He had to sit in a gurney for a while. And it was just terrible. It had giant nails in it that were poking him. No, that's right. It didn't have any of that. He was complaining because he had to lie on a soft gurney for a little while. For all this, this has been a long-standing objection to him, but it is the one of democracy. That how can we take anything he says uh, particularly seriously? Uh, well, I'm just saying how the accusation of hypocrisy from grotesque liars. I mean, you haven't gotten a single fact right yet. You don't know what causes uh, lung cancer. <laughs> you, you don't know anything about my personal finances. And you haven't gotten a single thing right about it. You don't know anything about the cats that are here and how they got here. Uh, you're just a fucking liar. Uh, given such strong hypocrisies. Yeah, so 
again, these are these are the people making accusations on the internet. So the trolls won't show their face. At least this fucking piece of lying shit shows his face so I can at least point to lying shit, lying shit, lying shit, lying shit. This asshole wants justice from a court system. This fucking compulsive liar is sitting there pissing his fucking uh, you know, dole from the British government away on fucking court cases where he's going to pretend he's not a fucking compulsive liar. I should show this to the judge and say, why, why bother reading his papers? Look at this fucker lie. Look at this motherfucking cunt lie through his fucking teeth. And he's going to complain to a court about justice. This fucking liar. He could, he doesn't have to catch them himself. He could pay somebody to catch the cats, right? Yes, again, and, I, and how do I get that money back? So I'll borrow money to go pay somebody to, to, to trap cats and have them euthanized. <clears throat> the option, you know, from the system was for four kittens and a pregnant mother to have them euthanized was $800. You got eight hundred dollars just to throw away to have cats per, uh, passively euthanized. It's just, it's just his money, and he's not prepared to send it. He, he, the, the only argument he would have, on which he, he can just keep lying some more, just lie and then lie some more, liar. You're a fucking liar. <clears throat> Which has any kind of legitimacy is that he's somehow promoting that behavior but he's not this is the problem with utilitarianism is it's it's how is he explaining his weighing of how much exactly he's promoting it as opposed to how much he's suffering he's saving those cats yeah if he did it quietly yeah um he would just be saving the suffering of those cats yeah he doesn't need to get on the bank and say everybody has to do it or you know what does that even mean i i guess instead of what you're doing which is lying I'm just honestly telling the truth that this is how it came to me. I didn't know about this whole trap, neuter, and release shit. I didn't know the whole system had gone to non-kill shelters, and it has. All right, and they just torture the fucking animals, and the veterinarians make a killing. See, an animal goes in, they have a bunch of cages. And what they do is they don't kill the animal until he's been in a cage for four months. But what they do is they take every animal and put it through this, this grinder of a system. All right, and so the vets make a killing because they get to do surgery on every fucking animal, okay? And if they don't kill it with bad surgery or sloppy this or infections or something like that, in the end, yes, if nobody adopts it after three or four months, then they'll kill it. But that's what you have to sentence an animal to to put it in the system. If I call them up and say, come get these animals and blah, 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 and harass them because they won't do it, they'll send me, they'll rent me a trap to trap them, right? And then they'll pick them up when convenient. So the animals sit in a trap outside for four days before they show up to do, do anything about it, right? And then put them in through this meat grinder. And I'm supposed to feel good about that. Oh, they didn't kill the poor little cat. No, they only tortured it. Oh, that's so much better. Torture is so much fucking better than killing things. You sadistic motherfucking ghouls. Well, it's, it's the only option available. And it's only the foreseeable option available to save those suffering of those cats in front of him, and he has no intention of doing it uh, because he prioritizes. So again, he has absolutely no evidence of this, or what I have prepared, or what I have spent, or anything. He has no evidence, just makes these accusations as if he has a fact. He has a fact, fucking one, of what my life, what I have sacrificed in my life for feral animals. Bullshit, you're just such a fucking lying piece of shit. His suffering above the many suffering of cats, contrary to his philosophy. Alright, just a factually vacant, insanely stupid, reckless, dumb, wrong accusation, you fucking pedophile, you sick, sadistic, lying sack of shit. God. Thank you, English justice system, for believing this asshole to be what he is, a lying sack of shit. You got what you deserved, shithead. Your mama is a fucking crook. And so are you. There. Fuck you. God damn it.
this doesn't look like a good video. Why would some asshole do that? Oh God, I hate this planet. Fuck you people. You're fake humanity, you're fake give a shit. You all should be trapped, neutered, and released to the crocodile pit. Fucking cunts.